Well, I um, was finally able to go. I went to the post office today after a couple of days of not going because um, I just had not had an opportunity to go by there. And this little package here is, um, it's a, I think it was, what did I call it? A promotional pen that they had or that I found a post for on, uh, not on Amazon, good grief, Charlie Brown that I found on Facebook and it, the pen was free and then all I had to pay was a couple of bucks for shipping and um, so I did I saw it and I thought it was kind of interesting so I went ahead and I um, ordered it and I said well let's see let's see what this turns out to be like I mean and all honesty I probably the back of my mind thought I was never going to receive anything but Lord and behold, this little box showed up. It's kind of a little bit smushed, but, um, and it wasn't, it was a little bit smushed and I didn't realize that it came with ink, with this many inks. I thought maybe it might have one or two, but it's got five little ink cartridges in there. And then those would go in here. The pen has a really nice, nice weight to it. It really does. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. And this is really nice tip to it too. I was very, I'm very impressed. Darn, I'm just impressed that it actually made it to me. It has a nice weight to it. And let me see. I wanted to try it out and see how it writes. So it looks like, and I didn't know it came with this either, it looks like it comes with a, um, I forgot what this is called right now, it's a, a right out of my mind, with an adapter here um, for adding your own ink, which I do have a lot of, oh, see it has a little thing where you um, put ink in there, like an, an ink cartridge, or you can use your own ink, and I, it has a name. But for the life of me, I cannot remember what the name, <laughs> an adapter, I think it's called, or um, I can't I forget. But it's to use your own ink from bottles, which I do. I have several colors. Now let me see. I am going to use. Yep, it goes on this end. I am going to use. Let's see how this works. If it works like the typical pen, and you supposed to push it in but maybe it goes on this end so you go like this and you watch me make a big mess of ink here it's not poking it it's supposed to poke it mm -hmm. almost like a little hole in there so let's see now uh -huh. thank god i have this nice handy dandy little plastic here in case i happen to make a big ink mess and at least it'll be fairly contained. Let's see here. Uh-huh. It's not on this end because this looks like it's too thick. Too let's see. Let's just go ahead and see if that works. Should work. Let's find out. Uh -huh. Where is a piece of paper when one needs it? Anyway, let's take this piece of paper here from this notepad and there I'm going to take away the plastic protective bubble that will protect me, me from the ink. Let's see how this goes. Will it write? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it's doing too well here. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I think I'm not. I'm not doing this right somehow. Of course, the pen came with zero instructions. Well, the reason it's not writing is because it has not broken through the seal, which I think goes this way. I'm pretty sure it's not. This part here looks too. All right, it would be great if we could. Let me look in here again and see what's in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
my gun. <clears throat> well, if it does not want to break the seal, am I supposed to break it? I don't think so. Normally, when I've had this kind of pen, I just... There it goes. It did it. It popped. And that means that it broke through the seal into the ink cartridge. At least I'm hoping that's what I'm doing. Let's see. It looks like a nice pen, so I hope I can I can get it to work. Let's see here. Well, doesn't look like I'm doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Nope. No. Nothing yet. Not one mark. Huh. Huh. Okay, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Let's see. Let me try any of the other techniques I've used with other pens, such as squeezing it in, maybe. See, the thing is that it looks like the... No, that wouldn't be it. Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, thank goodness it was not did not cost a bunch because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing to. And, oh, there it goes. Oh, finally. Oh, oh, oh. There's something showing up. Oh, my goodness. It writes. It just took a little bit. And it actually feels really, really nice. I like it. Hi, hello, hello there. Perfect. That's right. It does right. Oh, and it writes really well. I like it. All right. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was uh, worried there for a moment in all actuality. I thought it was going to be a dud. I'm like, oh boy. I'm glad I didn't spend a bunch of money. But it does write, and it writes really well. So this is, I know, I remember what it is called. This is called a converter. That's what it's called. It's called a converter because it converts a pen from these cartridges to your own ink. It doesn't hold a lot of ink, mind you. Um, I will use this up in no time once I fill it. But, you know, you can refill it. As many times as you need and those ink bottles last forever but I have the ink that's in here and it's black and I have four more cartridges that I can use so yep it writes and the tip is fine but it does not feel like a fine tip now what I need to do is I need to find a place to store this at all together so that way when I am looking for it to use the converter especially, I can find it. And I usually have a place where I do put my pens in my room here with all the ink bottles that I have and the different colors and everything and just keep it all together. I'm going to put this one back in its little package for now and tuck it in here. But I am very happy. I am going to be writing my letters for the next few days with this pen. I like it. This is writes really smooth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. <laughs> Writing is good for the soul. Yep. Sure is. All right. So there we go. This is the pen that came in, and the brand for the pen is called um, B A O E R. Never heard of it. It has a nice weight to it, though, and I really like it. Took me forever to figure it out because it did not come with instructions. So, if you were a brand new um, fountain pen person, you would have to probably look it up online to figure it out. But that worked out really well. I've used fountain pens over the years many times and I have 
couple of mid range as far as price range pens. I've never spent, you know, a couple hundred dollars on a pen or anything like that. Or there's some pens out there for five, six hundred dollars and just way out of my price range. So anything less than a than hundred is probably game for me. But this one was free with just paid a couple bucks in shipping. And um, here it is. So it arrived. And um, I don't know how, much, how am I supposed to share how to get it or anything if I don't know myself I just it was a Facebook post and I answered it and here it is so anyhow that is my share for today I love fountain pens and this one is seems to is going to be a keeper you all have a good day thanks for um, sitting through with me if you have through this um, chitter chatter and I will be back later bye now